I had done. Who is it? I've got football memorabilia and I've got a footballer in the supermarket. Okay, go on. The footballer memorabilia was when I was about nine. Mm. I'm now about 50 odd, so it's going back a bit. Yeah. But uh, I asked my dad if he'd make me a bow tie. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, hang on. What? Just say that again. Well, that's, well, that's what you'd ask my dad if he'd make me a bow tie. You'd make it? Yeah. Now, last time ever on Radio 5 Live, the last sentence, time ever. I asked my father to make me a bow tie. I'm sorry, that sentence ends here. This is already my favourite call <laughs> ever. I oh, kids asked you, I should dad, to make you a train, yeah? A ship, a boat, a, ship, a, a boat, boat yeah. uh, some kind of railway station. You asked your father... Well, it made a difference for a scarf, right? I, I wanted someone with... A bow tie. ...with my team's name on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would that be so? <laughs> I'd love to wear a bow tie with my team. I want it. What? What team is that? The Un Dundee United. Okay, cool. Uh, it's great. Go on. Well, they're just called United. So he made it, and it was wee black triangles, uh, you know, the pointy bits. Yes, really. And it was white across the middle, and it had United written right across the, the middle. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, but it was made out of plywood. Oh! 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 oh no! <laughs> this is too good. We're going to have to play an advert. We're going to have to play an advert. You're wearing... We're going commercial. It'll be an advert for these 20 minutes. I'm sorry, Gold. I'm sorry. We're not... We, as you know, we usually plough as we are here, but, but you're wearing a plywood bow tie with Dundee United. We're just united, really. And it was two feet wide by a foot. <laughs> and it was tied on my neck with a big leather strap. <laughs> Uh, that, that charged the way the game absolutely delighted and delirious. <laughs> but the half time I was, you know, quasi mortal at dinner and the. Hey, what the hell did you do to think? <laughs> you did it to yourself with the leather strap. Here you go, son. Here's your bow tie. <laughs> clank, clank, clank. And here's the big leather strap to tie to your neck. Oh, my God. So we had a bit of stone and a half. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so, you must have ended up sort of with one of the curvature of the spine, didn't you? That... Yeah, but he, see, but he saw the error of his waist. Oh, so, man. So next week. He produced, a, he produced a big pole, <laughs> and I went away in the match like a Roman centurion, you know. What was the pole for, sorry? The pole, the, 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 the bow tie was strapped to the pole, <laughs> <laughs> like a Roman standard. <laughs> so, I went, I marched, but of course... Like well, a Roman standard, you're making it worse, don't you, don't you? Oh, this. Gordon, this is my favourite <laughs> ever, and I've been doing this a while. <sighs> well, I'm sorry, I've gone. And uh, is there a quick thing? No, no, hang on, just give me a minute. You don't have to fill the space. Sometimes it's good to have dead here. Let me yeah. get over this. What, just going back, yeah. why, why did you want a bow tie? I, I thought, did I, why does anybody want anything? I did no, 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 seriously. Not good enough. A rattle, yes. A banner, yes. You know, a scarf, as you say, a hat. I already had a rattle. Oh. <laughs> that, that was it's made really? a cast iron as well, so. I just said that. Uh, anyway, sorry, Gordon. Karen, you said there's one other thing. Yeah, yeah. That was, did, 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 did you watch Sky during the week? I know it's a Scottish one. Did you watch Rangers okay. against United? I saw so bits and pieces. Yeah. I, don't, I, I didn't see it. We all moved. Anyway, the, 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 the guy who crossed the... <laughs> Don't tell me there was somebody in the crowd wearing your bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <him. laughs> yeah, go on. The guy who crossed the ball for Richard Goff to score an own goal, which is brilliant, because Richard mm. Goff used to play for us. So of course, yeah. the opposite was you, you used to say, it's g it, when somebody comes back to the club, they always score against you, but they scored for you, so that was terrific. Anyway, the yeah. guy who crossed the ball yeah. is a player called Annie McLaren, and he shops at Tesco's in Money Feast. Ah. And I was standing w beside him, behind him, actually, in the six items of less one basket queue yeah when a nearby checker well actually it was about sort of 15 yards away opened you know you just saw the girl sitting down and putting on the light yeah so we both made a dash for this other checker that was opening and i left him for dead you did? oh yeah, yeah good for you I left him for dead. Did you, did you turn around and, and kind of give him a... a I told him, yeah. Yeah, good yeah. for you. Gordon, as yeah. I say, I'm, I'm glad you had that story, you know, you, you put the good on, because I'd never, I just wouldn't have been able to take any other calls out of that. Uh, that, I'm afraid, Gordon, we have to keep your number and have you tell that. I'm going to have to ring you up when I'm at party, yeah. I can't quite remember all the details. <laughs> Where, <laughs> Gordon? Wherever Todd. Uh, and 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 of course. Yeah. Where, a two foot wide, plywood bow tie. <laughs> um, held on with a big leather strap for the first week, and the second week, carried into the centurion. What are to do with this stick it on a pole well don't feel intimidated by golden's coin no. maybe, maybe the best but please oh three four five you've only got to do better than that and you're on the right